Hey guys, so this video is a request from a viewer whose name I do not remember, but I will put it right here in editing. So they asked me to make a video talking about Riot Girl, and this is something I'm really excited to do because I just r took a gender and sexualities class and my final paper for the class was about Riot Girl. And um, I guess this video is just going to follow a similar format to that paper, which was the pros of Riot Girl, the cons of Riot Girl, and then discussing the legacy of Riot Girl. So the big question here is what is Riot Girl? And I think the easiest way for me to explain that is to say that Riot Girl was a third wave feminist movement aimed at giving women a voice in a male dominated punk scene. Riot Girl started I think primarily in Washington DC and also in the Pacific Northwest. A big name in Riot Girl is Kathleen Hanna. There wasn't really supposed to be a leader of the movement, but Kathleen Hanna ended up being a big figure in the movement, and her band Bikini Kill is often viewed as the essential Riot Girl band. Another big band in Riot Girl is a band called Bratmobile, which I like for a lot of reasons. I think they're just good, a good band, but I also think that it's cool that they formed at the University of Oregon. Go Ducks. Hope I didn't offend any OSU fans. Other Riot Girl bands, just off the top of my head, are like Slater Kinney, L7, um, Heaven's Betsy, Jack Off Drill. No matter how problematic I find aspects of the Riot Girl movement, I really do like the music. So I think it's pretty safe to say that Riot Girls started with zines, and for people who don't know, zines are like self-published little, um, zines, I don't know how to describe it, um, where people write about various issues like feminism and stuff. And in a zine, uh, the Riot Girl Manifesto was published. And this established a lot of goals for the movement. I'm going to read some to you right now. Um, because us girls crave records and books and fanzines that speak to us that we feel included in and can understand in our own ways. Because we don't want to assimilate to someone else's boy standards of what is or isn't. Because we are unwilling to falter under claims that we are reactionary, reverse sexist, and not the true punk rock soul crusaders that we know we really are. Because we hate capitalism in all its forms and see our main goal as sharing information and staying alive instead of making profits off being cool according to traditional standards. Because we are angry at a society that tells us girl equals dumb, girl equals bad, girl equals weak. Because I believe with my whole heart, mind, body that girls constitute a revolutionary soul force that can and will change the world for real. So now I guess we'll talk about the pros of Riot Girl. Um, and despite all the negativity, there were some positive aspects. I think one would be the DIY culture which made Riot Girl pretty accessible to people. And it did give women a place in punk music. There's a footnote by all of these and I'll get to that in the negativity section, but it did give women a voice in punk music that they might not have gotten otherwise. I was watching a documentary for my research called um, Don't Need You, The Herstory of Riot Girl. I'll link it below. And in one part of it, this girl was talking about how she went to a punk show and she noticed all the men were like moshing and the women were around the side like holding the dude's coats and she asked about it and somebody was like or she overheard somebody joking and be like oh those are the coat hangers so I think that attitude changed a lot I think it did give women a place where they felt powerful in punk music. Again, there's a footnote here, I'll get to that in a minute. There were also music festivals like Lady Fest, which were aimed at female musicians, which I think is pretty cool. And I think I'm going to talk about the cons of Riot Girl right now, because that's something that's like, I kind of want to get out there. Despite all the positivity of Riot Girl and the fact that it did accomplish a lot of what it wanted to accomplish to some level, it did have a lot of negativity. It was a very white, middle-class, cisgender sort of feminism. Kathleen Hanna played at a music festival that's pretty transphobic, which bothers me a lot because I don't think you can claim feminism if you're not going to include every type of woman. I just think it sort of sucks because it's a movement that could have done so much more good than it did. It just had such a narrow view, it's such a narrow niche feminism that it just left so many people out. Another issue with Riot Girl, specifically Kathleen Hanna, 
she probably would hate to be referred to as a spokeswoman of Riot Girl, but she is. So, um, she, a couple years ago, played at a transphobic music festival, which sucks a lot, and I don't think she ever apologized for it. She also does not like Kesha or Lady Gaga or Katy Perry. I'm gonna read to you a quote she said about that, which irks me. She said, I mean, is it really that different when it's a skinny white woman in a bathing suit singing these things? None of these women ever wear pants, first of all. Kathleen Hanna spent a lot of the 90s not wearing pants, and that's fine. It's like slut-shaming, and it's also hypocritical. So there's some issues with Riot Girl. I don't know if I feel that the issues with Riot Girl should condemn everyone who's ever identified as a riot girl or anything, but I think that, like I said, it's important to be aware of problematic elements of stuff you like and um, use it to learn. So that's what I do, I guess. And I guess the last thing I shall talk about is the legacy of Riot Girl because it has had a lasting impact despite if you like it or not. It has influenced a wide variety of people. The first thing is Pussy Riot. I think that is something it did ins inspire, maybe um, definitely influenced. Another thing that Riot Girl probably influenced is Slut Walks. For, I don't think I mentioned this, but a key element of Riot Girl was that they would a attempt to reclaim words like slut and they would write it, like words like slut, in lipstick on their stomach or arms or whatever. Um, in an attempt to reclaim the word and for people who don't know, slut walks are where people dress up really in like lingerie or whatever and walk around to reclaim the word slut. Whether that works or not is not something I know enough about to comment on, but I do know that it is very Riot Girl. The last thing I'll talk about for a Riot Girl legacy is zines. I think this is really, really cool. A really cool thing that stuck around is zines and I there's one I know called Camp Climax, and I, you can probably find a lot more on Tumblr, but zines are continuing, and I think that's such a great thing, actually, is a lot of people are um, still writing zines, still writing articles and stuff they care about and want to talk about and discuss, and zines are still made non-digitally, too. In Portland, there was some kind of zine convention thing. Um, I didn't go but my gender and sexualities professor mentioned it. And I think that's such a cool thing that stuck around, like the DIY um, attitude is pretty cool. So that's my video on Riot Girl. I hope it was interesting. I hope that it was a brief enough sort of outline that if you wanna learn more, you have a starting point. And while I do find Riot Girl problematic, it does have some positive, um, positive stuff. And I think it would be really cool if someone made a Riot Girl-esque movement today, um, but use what we learned from Riot Girl's mistakes. And I think that it would be awesome to have, like, girl bands and stuff, but I think it would be awesome if we included anybody who wanted to be a woman, because I'm under the impression that anyone who says they're a woman is a woman. I'm pretty sure that's how it works. So I hope this video was informative, I hope it was interesting, and if I messed up, please call me out on it. I will never grow if you don't tell me what I've messed up on. So in the comments, tell me if, what you like about Riot Girl, what you don't like about Riot Girl, if you are a Riot Girl, if you were around during the Riot Girl stuff, I don't know, just talk to me about Riot Girl. Whether it's good or bad, I just ask that you be polite. So thank you for watching. Um, sorry I took last week off. I was moving um, to my new room. Exciting. I might make a room tour at some point. I don't know. I don't know. If you have any video requests, let me know. Thank you again for watching. I say that like a billion times per video, but I'm very grateful. I have almost a thousand subscribers and this is blowing me away. So thank you again. Thank you. Bye.